I can't be bothered tidying, so I'm trying to sort of lean over all the mess so I have to stand like this. This past few days, it's Morgan from Little Word Weaver and Jack Howard from Jack and Dean have both been um, making videos about inspiration and role models. Now, they both talk fiction and real life here. Morgan talk more fiction and Jack talk more real life. And I'm sort of caught in between when it comes to role models and inspirations. One of my biggest role models are Miranda Hart and also Miranda from a TV show written by Miranda Hart, played by Miranda Hart, and in most people's eyes, Miranda Hart. Now, it's fiction, but so relatable. I don't want to be a comedian. That's not what I do. That's not what I set out to do, and that's not what I'm going to be. Because I'm not. When I'm funny, it's unintentional, and it's usually because I'm going face down somewhere. But I want to be the best I can be at what I'm doing. Right now, that will be literature. And not on booktube, but in the real life. English, specifically. English literature. Can't even say literature, so it's going to be hard. But I'm going to write a third year of my bachelor degree in English now. My inspirations tend to both be the gothic novel and a modern comedian. I can't count how many times I've been laughing my head off to Daryl Brian and both him and Miranda Hart are my two big role models but because they generally seem to be loving what they're doing and I admire that but as a woman in a field dominated by men literature, comedy, film, everything I think it's important to have female role models for me it's been important to have female characters and real life women to look up on to sort of stand back and just say, you know what, she's amazing. Which makes it a bit weird that the two characters in the literature that I see most of myself in is Samwise Gamgee from Lord of the Rings and Ron Weasley from Harry Potter. I wonder if that's because I don't read enough books with female characters that I can relate to. Both of these books have strong, strong women in them, Eowyn, Hermione. I just don't, I'm not that strong woman. I'm the klutzy woman. I'm not the nerd that, you know, could be in Ravenclaw. And I'm not fierce and strong to want to battle the fights that Eowyn does. I'm pretty ordinary, I'm pretty normal. I like comic books and I like superheroes, but I strongly suspect that's because it's in the wind. That's popular now. Everyone likes it. So my point is, I think, in real life I have female role models and inspirations, but in fiction I tend to see myself more in the male characters. Which isn't the same though, is it? But inspiration is so hard, because it can be both real, but it can also be something quite abstract. It doesn't have to be persons, and it has nothing to do with gender. I don't know why I twisted this into a gender thing. I did not mean to do that. I should write scripts. Can't be bothered. See? See? That's why I'm not like Hermione. Can't be bothered. This is just a whole lot of ramble. Um, do look at the videos I mentioned in the beginning. I can link them. Comment down below what you think or like it or subscribe or whatever you kids do nowadays. And I'll see you soon.